I first found this Lazy Susan from my local thrift store. I will be using Waverly Chalk Paints in the color ink, and I'm just going to paint the entire Lazy Susan with one coat. This does not have to be painted perfectly because I'm gonna go over it with something later on. But I just painted the top of this, the bottom, everything. I just painted everything. And once that was covered, you want to just allow that to completely dry. Once that was dry, I grabbed some school glue. This is just some Dollar Tree school glue. I'm just going to pour it right on top. I ended up putting a lot, which is okay, because when you put a lot and you go over this with paint, it's going to create this awesome crackle effect. So the more... Uh, I'm sorry, the more glue that you put down, the bigger the crackle is going to be. So you want to just dry it enough until it's kind of tacky. You don't want it to be completely dry. And then I'm going over it with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster. So you want to make sure you put a generous amount of the paint on your paintbrush because you don't want to overstroke. So I usually just apply this with maybe two or three brush strokes in one spot but you just want to make sure that it is evenly distributed all throughout your surface and then go ahead and start drying it i just sped up the process by using my blow dryer and look at that you literally see the magic start forming right before your eyes but look at how giant those crackles are that is because i use such a large amount of glue and now I'm finally going to be playing with these Walmart stencils I think these were like five or six dollars so I'm going to be using the mixture of both the B one and the farmhouse one I really liked the wreath stencil from the B one so I'm using that one it was a little too big for my lazy Susan so I had to do this by sections but all I'm doing is just placing it down finding a good placement for it making sure it is completely smoothed down and then just tape it to make sure it doesn't move around on me and then just using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge dabbing some of that ink chalk paint onto my sponge and take off any excess. You want to make sure you do not have a large amount of paint while using this stencil. And then just with some light dabbing motions, just start going all throughout the stencil. And I just did this all around that Lazy Susan. And then using the farmhouse stencil, I just wanted the cow. I thought the cow was so cute. So again, blocking off um, some pieces I didn't want to transfer onto my lazy susan with some blue painters tape dab that chalk paint into the part where the cow was and there you go guys easy peasy i think these stencils were amazing to work with i love them i hope this inspires you guys to run out and grab it and have fun with it create something your own if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so so much and i hope y'all have a good rest of your day thanks bye